Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT, and in today's video we're going to be doing one more comparison, I do apologize, there's just not really any other content to do on the global side, so one last comparison, and that is if Hawk of the Fog is a good replacement for the Airship Thunder May, or do you need to pull for the Airship Thunder May? So we're going to talk about that in today's video. I do hope you enjoy what you see today. If you do, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. Helps out the channel tremendously. And if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you have not subscribed already, go ahead, consider subscribing. Join the FBG family. And remember, a link to the Discord will be in the description below. Go ahead and join the Discord today as well. Now, before we do jump into what today's video is all about, I did want to go ahead and quickly mention because this uh, just dropped for the global side and that is the new story chapter for Thunders over Nagazora that just dropped like I mentioned today at least on the announcements now the chapters aren't officially out that actually will not come out until July 9th for the first part and then for the second part that will come out on July 16th so keep that in mind. July 9th will be tomorrow. So for me, it will be tomorrow around uh, 10 a.m. So unfortunately, I won't be able to cover that right when it drops. But um, I will maybe later uh, that day or the following day. And then remember the 16th for the second part. And then if you wanted to, I'm sure you've seen it already. Uh, but if you wanted to, there's a link to see the animated short. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out as well as my reaction is uh, in my channel you can check that video out if you want also now anyways um, just wanted to quickly mention that now moving back over to the topic of whether uh, Hawk of the Fog can be a good replacement uh, good replacement excuse me uh, up to the point where you don't need to summon for the Ursha of Thunder May um, right off the bat I'm not gonna keep you long um, I, I think she is uh, and, and I'll just mention that really quickly just in case you guys wanted a quick answer Yes, I think the uh, Hawk of the Fog is a really, really good replacement, actually. And if you wanted me to be completely honest with you, um, I think she's good enough to where you don't have to pull for the Ursha Thunder May if you don't want to. Um, because she's a psychic lightning damage dealer, and she's a really good one at that, and she fills that role really well, means that you don't have to pull... For Thunder May if you don't want to if you feel as if you have your uh, Hawk of the Fog up to par uh, triple S rank you got the proper gear and stigmata set as well as the uh, skills maxed out then and, and the core maxed out as well then yeah I in, in my honest opinion and this is coming from a May fanboy a Thunder May fanboy uh, Thunder May being my waifu one that I'm going all out for uh, this is my honest opinion. I really don't think you need to. If you have, like I mentioned, what you need for Hawk of the Fog to be great, then yeah, I think you can skip and you don't have to pull because she fills that role so well. Now, one thing I will say, just as a bit of a caveat, um, as a double-edged sword, catch-22, <laughs> whatever other uh, sayings that I can mention with that, is that I think... Thunder May is better, obviously, than Hawk of the Fog. In my opinion, I think she is. I think she has better utility. I think she has better movement. I think she does um, just as good, if not better, damage. I think her ultimate is better. Um, I think she tanks better than Hawk, Hawk of the Fog does. Um, I just think she has better utility overall, just in general. Um, and that is just my opinion from playing with both of them pretty extensively. Obviously, uh, Thunder May is still in the beta and she is still getting worked and we'll find out official um, when she drops officially on the Chinese server how well she is and then eventually on the global server how good she truly is. Um, but so far from what I can see and what I have uh, was able to experience, I think Thunder May is better than Hawk of the Fog. Now is she leagues better? I don't think she's leagues better. I think Hawk of the Fog is right there uh, in contention. And like I mentioned, fills the role very well. But if you're asking me who's better, Thunder May, in my opinion, is better just because of her utility um, and her kit. What she's able to offer, I think, is much more versatile than Hawk of the Fog. Um, but this video was strictly stating whether Hawk of the Fog is a good replacement to where you don't have to pull for Thunder May. Yes, I agree. Uh, and, and I would state that definitively. 
Um, because I think Hawk of the Fog is so good and because I think she fills that role so well as a lightning uh, DPS psychic type, I mean, it, it, you, you, don't, you don't need Thunder May in particular in general. But like I mentioned, that is, in my opinion, if you have her at triple S rank, um, if you have her maxed out with the levels, of course, if you have the Nuada's Revenge is really, really gonna, you know, make that even a more definitive answer for you. Um, as you can see, I have it maxed out and you have the proper lightning stigmata sets or stigmas. Um, and then you have the core maxed out. If you have those things all there, then yes, I do think so. But if you don't, if you don't have those things, if you're trying to go with just like a free to play set or something of that nature, then no. Uh, Thunder May is going to be head and shoulders above Hawk of the Fog, um, in, in my opinion. So uh, just a really quick video, guys. Like I mentioned, there's not a whole lot of content going on for the global side as of right now. But uh, somebody did ask me this question in the comments of my last video that I had to make this comparison. And I agreed it, it was a warranted comparison to go ahead and make because a lot of people are stating, well, I have Hawk of the Fog, so I'm going to skip out on Thunder May. And I believe in each comment that I, I either hearted that comment because I agreed or stated that I agree. I, if you have Hawk of the Fog at the necessary things, like I mentioned, then I agree with you. You can skip Thunder May and it's not, it's not a necessary pull. It, it really isn't. Um, but with that being said as well, I think Thunder May is, is a, a better Valkyrie overall in general. And she should be. She should be. Um, being an Ayrshire and being, you know, a natural S rank, uh, especially if you get her gear, you pre-arm her weapon, um, you get her applicable stigmata set. If you do all those things and you max out that pre-arm weapon and you max out her full stigmata set, then I think she is, then becomes, uh, there, there's a pretty good gap between the two. Um, as of right now, like I mentioned, when she officially drops, then that could all change and that could be different because they're still working with her. They're still applying some bur buffs, buffs. <laughs> They're still applying some buffs and still applying some nerfs to her. So um, it is is yet to be seen. But I do think that once again, just to hammer home the point, <laughs> I think that Hawk of the Fog is a good replacement to where you don't have to pull for Thunder May. But as I always state, waifu over meta, you go for your waifu. If Thunder May is your waifu, like for me, you go for her. You don't let anybody tell you different. You don't let anybody stop you. You go all the way in for her and you summon until you go ahead or pull until you go ahead and pull her. <laughs> if that's, you know, who you want to go for. But if Hawk of the Fog Fuhua is your waifu, then don't go for May. You know, save your crystals. Save for something else that might come down the line um, because this game is healthy this game is in good shape and so there's going to be more uh, Valkyries to come there's going to be more dominant Valkyries to arrive here in the future as well so with that being said guys I hope you enjoyed the video today I hope that helped I hope my advice gave you a little more insight on what you should do and I hope I wasn't too confusing and I hope I didn't repeat myself a whole lot I notice I do that when I try and explain my points I repeat myself a lot so um, I hope that wasn't too annoying and I hope I got straight to the point for you guys as well but all right guys I'm gonna get out of here I rambled on long enough I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie Cody GT and I'm out